Cougars are the most widespread wild cats. They have a significant range which extends from northwestern Canada to South American Patagonia and greatly differs in altitude, type of available vegetation, and weather conditions. Cougars tend to roam areas where they won't be seen. These wild terrestrial animals thrive in grassy plains, lowland tropical forests, mountain regions, meadows, deserts, or any other area with adequate cover and prey. Despite having such a wide range, cougars try to avoid South American wetlands and lowlands as these territories are usually inhabited by jaguars. With such a range, the cougar has earned the title of the most widely distributed land mammal in the Western Hemisphere. Cougar is not the only name that is used to describe this animal. In different parts of the world, this animal is also known as the mountain lion, puma, panther, and other names. This large felid actually holds the Guinness record as the animal with the greatest number of names, over 40 in English alone. Adult cougars have no predators in the wild and can only suffer from illegal or destructive human activities. Despite being fierce hunters, cougars are not always the apex predators in their range. They compete for food with several big predators. But because of the size difference, cougars usually yield to jaguars, gray wolves, American black bears, and grizzly bears. Modern zoology distinguishes between six subspecies of cougar. They mainly differ by their preferred habitat, coloration of coats, and size. Five of the subspecies are solely found in Latin America. There is a small population in Florida, a subspecies known as the Florida panther. The Florida panther is considered to be critically endangered, and today significant scientific efforts are directed at maintaining the current population. Although these animals have a significant home range and healthy populations are labeled by conservationists as species of least concern, there are several factors that could pose a threat to the cougar's future on the planet. Today, cougars mainly suffer from destruction of natural habitat, poaching and hunting, environmental pollution, and automobile accidents. Though pumas sometimes wander into human settlements and cause problems for farmers, they have a very important role in the environment. Pumas keep population of animals lower on the food chain in check. Without them, for example, those same farmers may have their crops overrun by hungry rabbits. Cougars usually make their dens in rocky ledges, dense thickets, and under uprooted trees. These dens are used both for recreational purposes as well as for bringing up the cubs. When the time comes, the female gives birth to a litter of one to six cubs. Newborns are both blind and helpless. They usually weigh about one pound. Their baby blue eyes open at around 10 days and change to greenish-yellow in about 16 months. After opening their eyes, the youngsters gradually start growing teeth. Their bodies are still covered in dark spotted coats that can help them blend in with their surroundings. As they grow up, the spots will disappear. Mother Puma will give solid foods and meat to its cubs at the age of six weeks and will prepare them for leaving the den. The female cougars pass their hunting skills to the young and let them practice on smaller prey. Young animals accompany their mothers during hunting trips at the age of six months, but stay under their supervision for almost two years. Upon reaching this age, they will leave their mother to start their own life. Some travel far to establish their own territory. The typical lifespan of this large felid is about 15 years in the wild, but they are known to live up to 20 years in captivity.
During the day, cougars usually sleep in their dens or lie in the sun. Their activity levels peak after dusk. When it gets darker, this wild terrestrial mammal can fully rely on its hunting advantages. Its body color allows it to fully blend in with the surroundings, while its keen eyesight helps to spot prey from high cliffs or tree branches. Their primary prey is deer, but they also eat porcupines, raccoons, birds, small mammals, foxes, mice, and grass. Pumas hunt using stealth and strength. These wild cats are secretive in nature and prefer to stalk their prey at close range to utilize the element of surprise. Cougars are perfectly adapted to moving through rugged terrain. They use their strong legs to climb trees, go up steep hills, and even swim for considerable distances when roaming their territory in search of suitable prey. Pumas like to sneak up behind their prey or perform unexpected attacks from an ambush. The biggest species are capable of jumping 40 feet horizontally and 18 feet vertically. Most of their victims are not able to escape from such a powerful leap and grip of a puma, even if they are up to three times bigger. Even if an animal is lucky enough to twist its way out of a cougar's grip, it has to be strong enough to outrun the attacker that is capable of reaching the sprinting speed of 30 miles per hour. Although pumas are incredibly territorial and aggressively respond to the presence of other animals, they rarely attack humans. This wild cat is very likely to avoid an encounter with humans unless it is wounded, seriously sick, or feels a potential life threat. Cougars are quiet animals that lead a solitary lifestyle for most of the year and only come close to each other during mating season. These wild cats communicate by using visual and olfactory signals. The males regularly leave messages in the form of scrapes in the soil or snow. Unlike the big cats, cougars don't roar. Instead, they use various vocalizations to communicate. During courtship, females will rub against trees or will yowl loudly so that the local males can hear their call. Cougars also use loud growls, hums, hisses, and snorts as a sign of distress or warning. Female individuals, however, are believed to communicate with cubs by emitting sounds similar to bird-like whistles. Cougars are characterized by their large front paws and long tail, which is used for balance while running. These wild cats have extremely powerful hind legs, making them excellent jumpers. Cougars also have acute vision and hearing. Their ears are round and can move to focus on sounds. The cougar is the second heaviest cat in the New World after the jaguar. Adult males can weigh 140 to 200 pounds, and grow to be six to eight feet long. Females are usually smaller in size. Physical appearance may slightly vary depending on the geographic area. Puma color variants seem to depend on their type of habitat as these predators that inhabit tropical regions seem to have tan or slightly yellow coats, while animals that live closer to the north have grayish coats. The cougar's belly and chin are white, but there are black markings on its face ears, and tip of the tail. Apart from six subspecies, there is a hybrid animal formed after a union between a cougar and a leopard. They are called pumapards, but are usually born with an inherited form of dwarfism. Most of pumapards grow to only half the size of the parents. These hybrid animals have puma-like long bodies, proportional to the limbs, but nevertheless shorter than either parent and short legs. 
The coat is variously described as sandy, tawny, or grayish, with brown, chestnut, or faded rosettes.